Hi, today for my vlog I decided to back up a little bit and talk about what essential oils are and how they work. And I put a link for a PDF on there. It's this um, sheet and I can only scan it in black and white so um, hopefully you can read it good. But um, first of all, what are essential oils? They're extracts from plants. Basically essential oils are the lifeblood of the plant. They are 50 to 70 times more powerful and potent than herbs. They're, so they're very concentrated. You'll see on here this picture, it looks like an alien planet. That's actually a peppermint leaf and the little uh, bubbles are the peppermint oil that they extract off of the plant. They're 100% natural. At doTERRA, the company I get mine from, the oils are certified pure, therapeutic grade, and I'm gonna explain that on another uh, video, why that's important to know. But um, they're a natural way to take care of us. They were used by ancient cultures, pretty much God's medicine on the earth. And they're similar properties to synthetic drugs with no side effects. They kill viruses and bacteria. If you'll see on this right here, um, <clears throat> that's a picture of a cell. Bacteria lives on the outside of the cell, and that's why synthetic antibiotics can kill the bacteria. But viruses live inside of the cell. And so the cell membrane does not allow synthetics to get into through, through the cell membrane into the cell. Well, essential oils are made from the same basic substances that we are and so they're natural and so the oils can penetrate the cell membrane especially the pure oil it can get into that cell very quickly and easily and there's a handful of oils that um, that I'll talk about in this vlog that um, are antiviral they'll get through that cell membrane and kill the virus so if the doctor says, yeah, it's a virus, sorry, there's nothing I can do, well, you can reach for your bottle of Melaleuca or oregano or any number of antiviral oils, and it will um, fight that virus inside the cell. They work really fast. Um, there's a picture here of some red blood cells that are all glumped together and not moving very freely. And Dr. David Heal, who is one of the board members on doTERRA, um, took this samples of his blood. And the blood that's all clotted together was the sample before. And after, um, the picture after where they're free flowing is 30 seconds after he applied a drop of a blend called Balance on the bottom of his feet. And there's a picture here of a bottle and some cups. That is to show that um, oils can clear toxins. They, um, styrofoam is a petrochemical, and within two minutes, four to six drops of a citrus oil, lemon, lime, orange, will eat a hole right through the styrofoam cup. This is how essential oils work to detoxify the inside of our bodies. <clears throat> and I'll just let you look at the other parts of this sheet. The middle part of it gives, um, talks about some of the most commonly used essential oils and what they're used for and then a couple of blends that doTERRA has um, that are very very uh, effective and those it lists what some of the uses are for them and then at the very bottom the three ways you can use essential oils you can diffuse it into the air when it um, enters your um, aromatic senses your um, olfactory senses I mean it will um, penetrate into your body and it's a great way to get the essential oils working in your system or you can pull, apply them on your skin. Some of them you have to be careful because they're very sensitive. Sensitive skin gets irritated with some of the oils so you have to use a carrier oil. I like to use fractionated coconut oil because it's very light and um, natural and uh, absorbs immediately. And then internal now when it comes to taking essential oils internally you have to be sure that they're safe for internal um, use a lot of oils that are in the marketplace have they'll say pure oil but they might have one drop of oil and then the rest of the bottle will be filled with 
fillers or synthetics. I've even heard of a, lavender, a bottle of lavender that has wheat in it somehow, and um, that can cause allergic reactions. So you have to make sure that the oils you ingest are certified pure therapeutic grade. They're not just, um, that you have to make sure that they're not gonna hurt you. And so those are the three ways that you can use essential oils. And um, well, I'll talk to you later. Have a great day.